Now, pigmentation is number one question that I get in this channel. In this video, I am going to tackle that situation by giving you the right skincare and right skincare formula for tackling out any kind of pigmentation. Welcome to yet another series of mine. I have done a lot of series in the past. This series focuses on the skincare formula for each of the skin concerns that you guys have problems in, such as acne prone skin, pigmentation, dry, dehydrated, keratosis polaris, and I'm going to upload one video in this series every single week so stay tuned for that and without any further ado let's start with this video Building up any kind of skincare ritual it is very simple and complicated at the same time building a skincare formula has its fundamental basics and if you want to learn those i will link my skincare done right series in which i break down the abcd of skincare basically like the fundamental rituals or fundamental steps of skincare in very short and sweet manner so go ahead and check those and come right back to the video and we are going to discuss the right products and the right way to formulate a skincare routine coming straight with the most important step in your routine which is cleansing Double cleansing, get it straight, helps with all of your skincare concerns. And if you start with a clean base, your skin would be much more brighter and healthier and less clogged. You can use any type of cleansing balms or any type of micellar water out there. These are a couple of my favorite type of cleansing balms or micellar water. For this video, I have the most affordable version, which is the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. It comes in a humongous tub. It also comes in a smaller one so for you to try cleaning out your face even if you are not applying makeup to properly remove your sunscreen because all sunscreens are not water soluble some sunscreen are but not all of the sunscreen are water soluble so you need an oil based or micellar water to actually remove your sunscreen properly and you should obviously apply sunscreen 365 days a year next step is very important exfoliating cleanser exfoliating cleanser is important because your pigmentation you need to speed up that cell turnover process for the cell turnover process you need hydroxy acids or retinols hydroxy acids such as AHAs alpha hydroxy acid or BHA beta hydroxy acids or BHA polyhydroxy acid or even LHAs are great exfoliating acids which are not only mild and gentle and including it in the cleanser form is very simple is very basic and even if you have sensitive skin you can do so i have a lot of exfoliating cleansers in my stash and these are my absolute favorite ones for this video i have my favorite go-to cleansers i'm using this since my teenage days this is the kaya's purifying cleanser it does has fragrance so fragrance alert but this is the cleanser that helped me and is helping me a lot in my acne fighting journey which i didn't know i had until recently so yeah this is a great cleanser and it is also pretty affordable coming on to next step which is toners now many people say toners are not necessary but for me toners are the best part of skincare because of this product right here now, this is the advanced snail 96 mucin power essence best skincare out there it is a slimy toner which not only hydrates your skin but over time i have seen a visible brightening with using this product i've been using this product for more than five years now and let me say you toners are essential you can even try my boyfriend famous isn't tree toner it is a hydrating toner and hydration is something that many people tend to forget when they get pigmentation problems and giving your skin hydration is the last thought that you have on your mind when you talk about pigmentation but dehydration is one of the causes of pigmentation and if you noticed in winters our skin tends to look a little bit dull and dark why because of the dehydration and you're not moisturizing or hydrating your skin enough so choose a hydrating toner even you can choose exfoliating toners they are sometimes hydrating too but yeah toners are essential if you are not a fan of hydrating toners you can try this cosmic do aha bha pha toner which is a great exfoliating toner and exfoliation and moisturization is basically the key to any kind of skin problems if you wish to skip toners it's completely fine let me talk about serums you guys have been waiting for this part i know i have a lot of serum recommendations but i have some names 
और इनग्रीडियंट एंड आई वॉन्ट यू गाइज टू नो एंड रिमेंबर दैम कोचिक एसिड एल्फा ब्यूटिन स्कॉर्बिक एसिड और वाइटामिन सी नायसिनमाइन एंड लास्टली लिक्र शूट दिज इनग्रीडियंट्स आर ग्रेली ग्रेट फॉर पिगमेंटेशन कोचिक एसिड एंड एल्फा ऑब्यूटिन ग्रेट टेरोसिन इज इन हैबिट ऑफ वाइटामिन सी एंटी ऑक्सीडेंट लाइक वाइटामिन सी हेल्प यू टू फाइट विद दी डल स्किन प्रॉब्लम एंड नायसिनमाइन इज ओवरऑल स्किन सूदर सो यू नीड अ स्किन केयर रूटीन दैट विल कंटेन नॉट ओनली एक्सपोलिएटिंग रिचुअल बट इट ऑल्सो शुड हैव एन एंटी ऑक्सीडेंट and great tyrosinase inhibitors and for a SOS situation always keep a barrier repair cream coming on to serum recommendation i do have a lot i'm going to talk a lot of serum and this is something that would interest you guys i have a lot of serum so i'm just going to read it out and they are all amazing for pigmentation 2% kojic acid face cream so for kojic acid serum irritates your skin go for this cream i also have the 2% kojic acid face serum which is a great choice i have the by natural niacinamide serum one of my go to I have these two serums from Pulpix Shruti range. I have the Banish serum, which is a retinol dehyd 0.2% serum. Retinol works faster than retinol. It's a great serum to have. I also have the Spellbound serum, which is basically their 2% salicylic acid serum that I've really enjoyed in the past. I also have the Water Bomb serum from No Flaw Root. Great combination of alpha butyrate, niacinamide, and hyaluronic acid. Great for even hydration problems. I have the Conscious Chemist Defender Multi Factor Retinol Serum. Great retinol serum, which also has a really nice blend of ingredients. even peptides which are great for your skin i have the neemly retinol and peptide i also have the conscious chem is defender the multi peptide retinol night cream if you're not comfortable in applying a retinol serum you can even choose this i also have the minimalist alpha butyrin 2% great choice i have done a review on it you can check it out my channel i also have the anti pigmentation 0.8% face cream from minimalist great product i have the ala 2% face cream from minimalist again great 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 recommendation and if i'm missing out on any i will link all of the products in the bottom box below so these were basically a treatment coming on to the next step which is moisturization moisturization is really important i have a lot of videos on moisturization i will link couple of them in the bottom box below so do check it out but choosing the right type of moisturizer is really great you can even choose certain creams that have a little bit of um, actives to it such as the defender night cream or the ala cream from minimalist these not only moisturize your skin but also boost up that anti pigmentation removal process coming last into protecting your skin from the sun sunscreen is the most important step and these are couple of my favorite sunscreen sunscreen is something that you should apply 365 days a year don't listen to me just take a one month challenge and apply sunscreen every single day and obviously reapply every 2 hours see your difference take a before picture and after picture you will actually see your pigmentation going by just applying a sunscreen and sun damage and sun tan is one of the major concern for pigmentation so yeah this was pretty much a skin care routine before concluding the video i would like to mention a couple of step and a quick reminder of this whole lecture that i gave on pigmentation the first of all building the right skin care ritual is important cleansing toning serum or treatment moisturization and sunscreen These are the five steps that is basic fundamental step of any type of skincare routine. Ingredients that really help you out with pigmentation are hydroxy acid like AHAs and PHAs, niacinamide which is a really nice skin soother, tyrosinase inhibitors like kojic acid, alpha arbutin, antioxidants such as vitamins and licorice root extract. One such extract that really helps you out in speeding the whole process. And last but not the least, apply sunscreen 365 days even if it's raining even if it's winter even if it's like a little bit gloomy outside trust me sun is always there and you are exposed to the uv rays even if you take shelter under a tree or something so yeah do apply sunscreen every single day and it will visibly see the difference and after sun care is really important couple of steps that you can do you can apply a really nice soothing mask after that sun exposure these are two of my favorite after sun masks but you can even apply like aloe vera gel the main purpose of applying these calming masks is to bring down the temperature of your skin and to just soothe your skin that would really help you out a lot don't just apply ice that's not great just apply like a soothing gel or any kind of barrier repair cream and yeah talking about barrier repair cream you should always have a barrier repair cream at hand because if you get a mosquito bite that obviously leads to pigmentation if you get sunburn if you get a little bit of acne that you are like scratching don't do that save yourself apply a little bit of barrier cream or apply a pimple patch on that pimple 
it will save you with the pigmentation if you are facing genetic hyperpigmentation trust me it requires a long process if you want to save yourself on that go to a dermat they will suggest you better options in terms of combating that in a much more precise way than the trial and error method and lastly do cross check your current skincare routine some of the products might irritate you and might aggravate the pigmentation that you already have so do keep that in mind and let me know your thoughts on this video in the comment box below like this video if you like my content share this video to any of your friends and lastly subscribe to my channel hit on the bell notification i will see you in the next part of the series which is on acne prone skin so bye bye and take care